Alright, greetings guys. Welcome to White Flag Plays. Economics. This looks like a quirky little game. And that's what it says in the blurb. A quirky mix of roguelike and city builder. Build a lively little city above by looting mystical caves with a team of gnomes below. Use multiple runs to unlock upgrades and abilities to help your gnomes venture deeper into the dangerous underground. This is out in full release. You can play it right now. Yeah, full release. I just have to check if it wasn't an early access because you never know with these games. Any game nowadays, but that's cool. It's out full release. You can play it now. Let's have a little look and see if it's worth your time. New game. It looks pretty cool. I like the, the look of it. Boring, unpleasant, and painfully uneventful. But mine has always been the one exception. And today was no different. There I was on my usual walk through the woods on a Tuesday afternoon. I saw something out of the corner of my eye in a small clearing. It was a book. And I couldn't just leave it out there in the woods. It would have gotten wet. And no gnome likes a wet book. But problem was, it was being guarded by an enormous creature. Mouth like a pointed stick. And eyes like the beads of death. But I'd faced these monsters before. So I knew what I was up against. And I wasn't going to go down easy. Yeah! That's an epic battle. That evil oh. beast didn't stay in the chance. Wow. I didn't come out unscathed either. Finally, I could find out what was in this book. He moves the eye wherever he goes. The most outrageous stories, myths, tales, and legends. All the mysteries of the caves beneath Gnomeville. But there was one in particular that caught my eye. Well, let's get digging. Don't just jump down, mate. We got our first achievement already. We haven't even done anything, games. You can't just give achievements out for doing nothing. They do. Welcome to the caves, my apprentice. Rotate the camera. Can't yet. Zoom in on out. I can't yet. I can't move. I can't do anything. Let's get some more wood to hire more gnomes. The woodcutter will help us with that. Move him to the meadow next to those bushes. Nice. And the turn. I can zoom in and out now. I can rotate the camera. Looks like a potato head nearly. Not a gnome. I get you. Space bar or that button. Now all your gnomes will take seven actions. Seven? We also need pardon me, food. Feed the bats at the end of the turn. Feed the bats? If we go deeper, the number will increase. We got five bats. You need to feed the bats with food. They will eat more with the further they go down. The bat indicator shows how much food the bats will eat after each turn and how much you have left. Yeah. Hire a huntress. Gnomes. Huntress. There's only a couple of... Hunters hunt nearby animals. Why is it white blood? What's going on there? Okay, so then I just press end turn. She goes crazy. This little fox. Let's go down deeper. I could have made him get wood as well, couldn't I? No, I can't. Uh, maybe I could have put it. No, I couldn't because he started over here. Okay. Travel. Too far. Careful, the cracked tiles are unstable. Your gnomes will take damage if they stand there at the end of the turn. Oh, so I can put her anywhere, but then she's going to move later. There's more here. Take damage or literally die. I don't know. And then we're going back down again. Upgrade your gnomes. 
Project productivity times two. Light crew. What does that mean? Place a gnome on a banner. Oh, here we go. Uh, additional action when working. Okay, so they get what? Take an additional action. Why is it times two? Wouldn't that be masses more? You're, allow your gnomes to work in the air. No longer takes damage from breaking tiles. That's probably best on the woodcutter. Okay. Gnome upgrades. Uh, in Helena's shop, you can spend the wood you collect on upgrades. Upgrades can enhance your gnomes in powerful ways and make your descent through the cave a lot easier. Ah, oh, we're out of wood. You should get more wood so you can buy even more upgrades. Gnome upgrades. Upgrading are expensive, but powerful. You will need to collect a lot of wood so you can afford many upgrades as possible. <laughs> Damn it. I did these the wrong way around then, didn't I? Travel for meat. I guess I, I'm going to need meat too. What's this thing? I won't be able to get the wood. I don't know, we'll go to this. Whoa! Some caves contain dangerous bat nests. Destroy them or they will spawn additional bats. Seven health. Can I put her here? No. Oh. And she can't fly. Oh, damn. And that'll only be a couple of hits. I'll put her there. Who hits them? Hybrid. And then this guy. Okay. She gets additional action. How many turns do I get here? Escape elevator. Place a gnome here to remove them from the team. You'll be refunded half your base value. What? They both want to go. Place a gnome here to remove them from your team. Why would I want to do that? Can I have another turn here? Next cave. So I have to go down. What is this? Uh oh, root beak. Root beak. Uh oh. How much life? 20. So if she attacks twice. We've only got one turn here. Oh, I could have done this, actually, I think. Oh, it moves. Oh, damn. Oh, man. He won't. got 11 health left I just gotta hope it comes back this way or else I'm dead no oh, I got hurt or something then so we're in big trouble here and the bats are going to eat more food. Do we get this? Okay. Well, that's a lot of stuff. Oh, that saved us massive food. Okay. Healing. Reroll. This day will heal three health at the end of their turn. 
And then this guy can get flight crew as well. Yeah, that elite was massive. We're never going so deep. We've never gone so deep before. Jeez. The mythical crazy bird. Legendary Roost Lord. Kind of cool. Okay, so she goes crazy here. These guys are going to move around a lot. If trapped, it attacks gnomes. Okay. If trapped. So maybe here so it doesn't attack us so much. Not bad. Uh, um... It's trapped. Woodcutter. What? I can. I can get more gnomes. Oh. Well, what the heck? I should have got one more ages ago. Okay, so then she, I guess, goes over here to get us a whole lot of meat. And then he'll go around here. It should be okay. Uh-oh. Wait, who are you? Oh, did I get two hunters? Oh my gosh. Why weren't you attacking? Oh, because it only gets... Okay, okay, okay. And this gives me seven what? Wood and one gold. Can be used to construct buildings and produce goods in town. Oh, come on. It would have been good to get one more. Are we getting hit? We succeeded. Okay. Damn, we could have got the extra gold. Should have been a big help. Okay. That was close. We found some loot. You can use the loot to buy many upgrades. New gnomes, new buildings, blueprints, new abilities. They got it all covered. Spend our loot to unlock some new gnomes. Okay, boomeranger. Throws a boomerang that can bounce from animal to animal bouncing once without upgrades. Cook. What's this need? Cut. Cut. Cook grabs material wood from adjacent material wood gnomes and food from adjacent food gnomes to cook soup. The three wood. Okay, I get you. All I can do. Back to the gate. What about other buildings? Okay, we'll go back in. <coughs> What's this? Gives you one free reroll every time you visit Helena's shop during an expedition. Allows you to immediately travel to the next cave once. Provides 10 additional materials for the expedition. That's a whole other person, nearly. Provides 10 additional food. This seems good. Oh, we've got zero three. I can't. Whoop. Oh, I've got zero to use. And they're not allowing me to build yet. Mushroom jungle. Okay. Need a voucher for that. All right. I guess this will tell us all. Okay. Okay. So we got 40 woods. So we get two things. So you want, you definitely want, oh, I can only get a woodcutter at the moment. Oh, wait, I can change it. Food. Hunts nearby animals, throws a boomerang that can bounce from animal to animal, bouncing once without upgrades. This will get a lot of food here. Is that going to get double the food? Mate. 
Wait there. Can I move this guy? Throws a boomerang that can bounce from animal to animal. Yeah, well, that's great. I think it'd be better for you to be over here because you can't move as far. Nice. So we could go down or we could go for another hit. And the only problem is we're not going to get enough food for next time. This guy can only do animals. But with more wood, we get another person. So we risk it for the biscuit this time. Okay, let's get out of here. This will get us a whole lot of food or give us some... We don't have enough money for... Oh, jeez. Not giving us many upgrades, though. How much did they cost? Like 10 each, didn't they? A chest. Wait, what's this? Improve your gnomes. Is this not welcome here? <laughs> what? Steal from Helena? Oh. Oh, whoops. Oh, that kind of... That's interesting. Oh, you were definitely going to do that the first time, weren't you? Oh, well, the chest seems good. You may discover chests on your expedition. They will give you some food or materials for the expedition. They can also unlock new cosmetic buildings for your <laughs> Cosmetics? Okay. Where is it? Oh, it's over there. But I can't... Oh, I can open it like this. Nice. Okay, so the boomerang... How far does it go? So maybe we get an archer. Is it cheaper? Or the, will the boomerang go between these two? I feel like boomerangs are just better. I don't, even, I don't think we need to cook, do we? Because these don't cost anything to upkeep. There's only a certain amount of stuff. Okay. I think that's pretty good for a run. Not much food left. Okay. Definitely go for the boss. Now we've got so many people. Interesting. Wait, so we got more bats. Or is it only... Oh, jeez, it's not going over here. Damn! Well, I'm not, not going to kill it. Let's get out of here. Good gracious. So we need food is the main thing. But there's a decent amount of wood here as well. We're going to take this thing out as well. Gosh. You didn't kill this guy? Oh, did we miss that out on that? Oh, damn. No, I guess that's fine. Whoa. We can't even place everyone on here.
Arsch. Okay. Damn, it'd be good to get that flying thing, eh? That one gold, I have no idea if it's good or not. We're not going to kill it in this one turn. I think we'll just get as much wood as we can here and go. Alright, let's get out of here. I don't know how important gold is. Probably pretty important, but... Can't do it every time. Okay. Not much wood this time. Can these guys kill these? I don't know. We'll buy another food person. Okay. Do we want more food? No, it should be alright. Well, they do attack. Okay, that's good to know. We'll take this thing out. So that's not jumping, it only jumps between two things, I guess. If there's still food, we may as well just get a little bit more wood, yeah? Because we're going to get five, seven, anyway. Does anything get harder? I don't think so. Net positive. Alright, let's get some skills. The feather is good. On one of these wood choppers. And then heal. Oh, it's max health. Then I can re-roll. Extra actions, which would be good on a boomeranger. Can I give him two? I guess not. Oh, wait, you can do both. Okay. We'll heal three. Done. That's good. What is this? Just a log. Just some logs. Okay. A big chicken. What are these guys? Eats food from adjacent tiles on every action. Use more wood for every food consumed. So they don't attack us. What have I got here? I felt I feel like I guess they got hats. So the hats are boomerangs. Okay. Jeez, look at all the. Who can fly? You can fly. This is a big area for for, for money and food. So you'll chop that first and that's all you'll do. This is going to be lost this turn. And this is only available for foodies. All right, this will be fine. Oh, this didn't bounce onto this guy. It's gonna they're gonna eat this whole thing. How come they didn't kill this thing? The plant. What does that mean? Does that mean because it's a plant I need to chop it? Animal plant. Oh, okay. 
these guys can't do anything anymore. Okay. That's probably enough then. We're going to run out of food. Jeez. Um, the rooster's getting ready to take us out. Boomerang people. The flyer. There's no great spot for him, but I guess we get two wood and one thing. There's enough food here for two runs. We could buy an archer. I will do two runs. Seven plus two, and then this guy will do just seven. Okay. Oh, they're eating it. I, I see that now. So seven, eight, nine. So it's not enough. But if we do that, it is. This guy will just take out that one. Okay. I guess we could get... We get an archer. I've got max, do I? Oh, they're locked. Okay, I've got max. Okay, cool. Just. We haven't got much food. What do you got? Bam, you're the. Uh, okay, okay, okay. We get one more wood guy. No, I can't. Okay. So you're going to kill this. Oh, he's gone. What a waste, mate. I didn't even see that. And this guy can't do it because he needs one more attack. So it's just, we can't. We have to go. Oh, no, we'll get sick. Yeah. 17 bats. Did we not take out every bat cave as we went? We're screwed. Robust healing. We don't want any of that. Times two, a hundred percent. And the flight crew, which we can't use. Oh, you can't. Oh, that'll do. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if we've got this. Well, the problem is we got no food, so we definitely need every single piece of food you have. We have to take out two lots this time, hey? Well, I feel like this is going to be bad. This should hit this, but I don't know if it will. We'll just go for the hits here because they're going to heal themselves. I'll take a little bit of damage, but they'll be gone. Oh, they're not. Damn. Okay, one's dead. We are screwed on the food front.
But we can do a lot of damage. We have to get this other food, don't we? Which means this will have to move this way or that way. No, I can go here. Uh oh. Who's gonna hit me or him? All right. Damn. Yeah, we're just we're just dead with the food, unfortunately. Potentially. So what happens now? We're just we're just dead. Is this give food? No. We can get him down to the next level. Oh, does that help us? No. You barely escaped? <laughs> get destroyed. Using wood is only going to get us so far. Let's start producing some goods to unlock more upgrades. Pick up some blueprints from a lumber mill. Okay. Locked. Oh no. <laughs> In gold. We can do it. Blast cannon. Deal one additional damage but reduces max health by three. Oh, easy. Yeah. There's stuff everywhere. Jeez, look at this, guys. Man. Seems pretty good. Stackable upgrade. Okay. I don't know if I should have spent that money instantly. Build. Lumber mill. Whoa. Okay. U and E. We just gotta pack them as close as we can, I guess. Make sure the entrance is connected to a path, otherwise the gnomes can't work. Gnomes deliver the wood to the lumber mill and press it into material rations. Once we get some spare rations, we can take them with us on the expeditions to make our lives a little easier. Now keep gathering resources in the mines. Turn them into goods here in the town. And most importantly, Go deeper. We need to find that legendary treasure. Production chains. Build a lumber mill can help you process your wood into material rations. You can process them further to take them on expeditions where they will be exchanged for bonus resources. Your buildings need a path from the entry to the storage. Gnomes will bring wood to the lumber mill even when you are not there. Go on expeditions to re reap your rewards afterwards. Okay, I get you. So it's made one. I only need two to unlock. So these are flag flags, I guess, that you could put on your people, maybe. After moving the cart, take one bonus action on every action for the rest of the turn. Moving the cart. Oh, this is the cart. Cutter cart. Huh. Interesting. So we should have this for sure, shouldn't we? Requires three wood and produces one timber. Bam. I gotta click it. No, I don't want to destroy it. Take. Hey, I got four. Okay. Kitchen. Requires three wood, produces one food ration. Provides ten additional food for your expedition. Oh, these are the things that we could take with us. Okay. Uh, aerodrome. Allows you to immediately travel to the next cave once. I, don't, I guess if you're running out of food, that'd be good. And then we can build the ration base, which is 80 wood. Okay, yeah. Nothing's going to fit in here, is it? That's going to be like the worst thing ever. Can we make paths? What is this thing? This is a windmill. Probably shouldn't be right there, but... 
We we can move them later, can't we? Don't even worry about it too much. Adam. So this requires what? Wood again? Three wood, yeah, everything's wood. Okay. Not let it, oh, there we go. The map. Chops plants that are exactly two tiles away. Okay. Only two tiles away. That's cool. Tutorial, gnome, that's too expensive. All right, that's pretty cool, guys. We'll leave it here. But this is this is a pretty cool little game. I like it. Uh, looks like it's got a lot of, you, you can build. You can even just sit here and build it now. An idle game as well, guys. Everyone's favorite. Looks like four is max. So um, when you go down and come back up, you're only going to have four available. And you're only going to have one of these available? Okay. That's interesting. But there we go. So you build, you go down, you go deeper, you get better. Mushroom jungle. And you get different areas you can go down later. Very cool. All right, guys. So this is Eco... What is it? Economics. Full release available now. You can go pick it up yourself and give it a go. If I get tons of views, I can do some more episodes on it for sure. Um, other than that, be good if you could like this video. Help me and the developer get some views on their game and my video. Share it. That'd be great. And subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thanks, guys. Wipe fucking out. What's this pipe here for? Hey, Going to nothing. Nothing.